think we live. Yeah. Thank you to get a, a notification. Yeah. And we, we good? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Shalom. We're the brothers from the GMS Orlando camp. And we're going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rukha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders wow. of Yasha Allah. And the sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. All right, and, and today we're just going to go into a, a um, open forum, ed a edification for the flock. So we're just going to bring out a, a number of different subjects and just edify on it. So um, last night, we're dealing with an Edomite, and um, at, the, at the parking garage where we park at, but what we teach at, and the guy was talking about, um, he looked at the 12 tribe chart. So we got into three topics. It was about uh, slavery, about the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, West Indians, and Haitians coming to Babylon the Great. And I was explaining to him how the 10 tribe, how the kingdom was split during the time of Solomon, which you can read that in 1 Kings 11. And then how the northern kingdom went into captivity under the Syrian king, and that's 2 Kings 17. And I was explaining to him when the northern kingdom left, after them three years, they came over here on this side of the world. And Judah, Benjamin, and Levi were still in, in Jerusalem at the time. So we talked about slavery, uh, oh, and the dietary laws. Because he said the laws are done away. Some, they, they, they like some orthodox Christians, or however you pronounce it. I don't know. But he was saying how the law done away with. We don't got to do nothing but just sit back and wait on the Messiah to come. And we talked about the new moon. He said last night, Saturday was the new moon. I told him no. It's according to uh, the set, Saturday was the Sabbath, and I told him it's according to the new moon. So we got these three topics we're going to deal with because these devils really don't understand the scriptures, man. And that's why the Lord set up our spiritual fathers to give us understanding that we may feed sheep. So, um, <clears throat> real quick, let me, uh, got it. I just start off with 2nd Edger 6 and 28. It says, As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Right. And the only ones that are going to understand these things, man, is the hopeful elect. The ones that the Lord gave the spirit to understand. That's why the, the apostles asked him, the disciples asked Yahweh Shai, why do he speak in parables? And he said it was for them to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. So we understand these devils ain't going to get it, but it's still good for edification, man. So I said I was going to do a lesson on it. So here we is, man. So, um, hold on, Exodus 21 and 16. I got you. Okay, go ahead and read that. It's Exodus 21 and verse 16. It reads, And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And he that curseth his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. Now, this is, um, the point was Exodus 21 and 16. He that stealeth a man, and sell of him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely get put to death. Well, we know the devil came to uh, the, uh, the, the parts of Africa, right? And they and these uh, Hamites sold us, snatched us up and sold us to the so-called white man for muzzleload guns, cheap rum and wine, as the scriptures say. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now Jacob and his sons walked into Egypt. We never went into Egypt with no ships. It say, By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, meaning the land of Israel. And there, well, North America, Babylon the Great, and all around the world, ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. And that word buy that means to redeem you. So the Lord said we was going we was going to go into Egypt again with ships. So when you read Revelation 11, tell you that this is that North America battle in the great is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Mm -hmm. Meaning Egypt is another word for slavery, bondage, bondage, servitude. Right? So get that Joel 3. I get it. So this is uh Joel chapter 3. You start at the top. Yeah. Joel 3 and 1. For behold, in those days, and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Which is the last days. When the Messiah return, you got it. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shaphat. That means the other nation, the heathen, 17 of the nations, for putting their hands on the apple of the Lord's eye, which is the Israelites. 
You got it. And will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? Which are who? The Hamites that put their hands on us and sold us to Esau Edom. You got it. And all the coast of Palestine. Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? As Galatians 6 and 7 say, whatever man saw, if you got to reap that, you got it. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly, pleasant things. Right. The children also of Judah. See, here we go. And the children of Jerusalem. Right. Have ye sold unto the Grecians. That's the, that's the southern and the northern kingdom, man. You got it. That ye might remove them far from their border. That's the point. You see, they sold us, man. And they did it. As it said, they cast lots for us. How did about how did Wall Street, how did North America get built it up, man? They set up auctioning blocks, lots. Right? Wall Street was built, was started by selling slaves, man. Fresh off the ships in the ports, man. Right? They split up the father and the son, the, the father and the mother. If they had sons and daughters, we all we got separated, man. Right? Hey, get Luke 21 and start at 20. This is Luke 21 and verse 20. It reads. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies. And this is what I'm telling the guy. When Judah, Benjamin, and Levi were still in Jerusalem at the time, the so-called Negro Latinos, so-called Negroes, Haitians, and Jamaicans, so-called, we were still in Jerusalem. The northern kingdom was already on this side of the world, man. Right? Read it again. Luke 21 and 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Right? Right? Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. This what this is what Yahweh I was telling the Israelites at this time, man. So when we tell people, because most of our people believe that they was born in Africa, man. Well, you gotta understand how we get into Africa. Africa is not our land. That's not the motherland. Jake talking about they want to go back to the motherland. We're well, telling Galatians four and twenty six that Jerusalem is the mother of us all, man. Jerusalem and, and Israel is not in Africa, man. They sit on two separate titanic places, man. Right? So, read that one more time. It says, Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains. And this was the Israelites, so Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, fleeing into Africa and other parts of the world, man. Go ahead. It says, And let them which are in the midst of, the, midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, right? that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Right. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Hey, because most of them, hey, we was eating our kids. Leather belts, right? Uh, pigeons dung, doves, doves dung, right? Go ahead. For there shall be great distress in the land. Right. And wrath upon this people. Right. And when they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And shall be led away captive into all nations, man. This, this That was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And it happened to the northern kingdom as well, man. Hey, get the one in Luke uh, 19 and 43. Gotcha. It's Luke 19. We must deal with these topics, man. Because these people think they know something when they don't know, man. They don't know our history, man. That's why the apostles always say, learn the history, man. Learn the areas. You got to learn these things, man. We need to know this. These people come up thinking they know something and they don't know nothing, man. Go ahead. Luke 19 and 43. For the days shall for the days shall come upon thee right. that thine enemy shall cast a trench about thee right. and compass thee around and keep thee in on every side. You see that? That happened with the Babylonians and the Romans, man. And now we on this side of the world scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. These topics we gotta deal with, man, because these devils think they know something. Like Vocab Malone, man. These guys don't understand. They don't know the scriptures, man. That's why I said Daniel 12 and 10, the wicked will not understand. You holding something? Yeah. You got it. It's uh, Jeremiah 50 and 33. Right. I was just in the water. Call on Yahweh Shemel Shah. Call on Yahweh Shemel Shah. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Now, what, what was we oppressed together at if the northern kingdom stayed with Solomon 
at the southern kingdom stay with Simon in the northern kingdom with we're under the captivity of the uh, Shalomaneser, right? Second Kings 17, man. So when was we oppressed together? Because we were split during the time of Solomon. And there wasn't no oppression. Solomon was on the throne then. So when was the Israelites as a whole, all 12 tribes, oppressed together, man? You can't find it. Read that one more time, huh? Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Right. And all that took them captives held them fast. Right. They refused to let them go. And that's why we tell you we're not free, man. These devils don't want to let you go. You go outside of North America with your passport and it expires. They're going to come and get you, man. We are not free. Read the next verse. Verse 34. Their redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall truly plead their cause. Right. That he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. Right. All the all disquiet all the inhabitants mean everyone that had their hand on us, man. You gotta pay for it. Get Jeremiah 3 and 18. You got it. Whatever you and, got. And uh if I can say this, you gotta remember the northern and the southern kingdom didn't go into captivity in the first Babylon. Right. It was just right. it was just Judah. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right. Uh Jeremiah 3. Uh you said 18? Yep. 3 and 18. And it reads, In those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. Right. This future prophets when Yahweh shall return, man. When you try to go over these things over and over, but we understand the wicked is not going to understand it, man. Two thirds can't even get it. Mm -hmm. So how the heathen supposed to pick it up, man? Mm -hmm. Now, if y'all had anything y'all want to say, we're gonna go and move to the next topic. Yeah, we can go to the next one. All right. So the other, so I'm dealing with the if guy. I, one more. You Just got one it. More. Come on, come on. Real quick. Isaiah one and ten. Yep. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, right. which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass in that place, in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. Right. Then shall the children of Judah right. and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head. Right. And they shall come up Beautiful. out of the land. For great shall be the day of Jezreel. Right, man. You see? The precept upon precept, they all go together, man. It don't matter who it is, who it is man. They can't understand this. Then it just, it's not for them, man. Because it's plain to us. We know. The Lord said we were sold to the nations, man. I got that in Baruch if you want it. Yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. It's Baruch chapter 4. In verse 6, it says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, right. but because you moved the Heavenly Father to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. Right. For you uh, come on, slot, go ahead. It says, For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils, and not to the Heavenly Father. Right. You have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up, and you have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. You see that? Hey, now get the precept. Could that, could that come from Judges chapter 2? Read Judges 2 and 14. This is Judges chapter 2 and verse 14. It's lucky. It reads. <clears throat> this is the same thing it says in Baruch, man. It says, And the anger of the Lord was hot against Israel. Right. Mm -hmm. And he delivered them into the hands of the spoilers that spoiled them. Right. And he sold them into the hands of their enemies around about. You see that? You got it. So that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. Right. Well, when you go to Lamentations 2, the Lord say he was pissed off with Israel. He cast us down and he gave us into the hand of all the enemies, man, which is in Psalms 83. You can't make this up, man. But that was the point I wanted to make on that, man, about that, that slavery, man, because this guy was bugged out. But we understand they ain't going to get it. You got um, Matthew? Yeah, I got it. Okay, go ahead. It's Matthew 5 and 17. It says, think not that I am come to destroy the law. Or the prophets Right I am not come to destroy But to fulfill For verily I say unto you Till heaven and earth pass One jot or one tittle Shall in no wise pass from the law 
to all be fulfilled. Now, we know we can't keep all the laws. We know that. We ain't justified by keeping the laws. But we supposed to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord every day, man. Mm -hmm. How do you become how, how do you become perfect, man? How if we not trying to follow the laws that you commandment to the best of our ability, how are we trying to be put on a new person? How? This guy said we don't gotta do nothing but just sit and wait on your house shot. And that's what most people believe, man. That's Christianity all day. All we gotta do is sit back and wait because he died for our sins. Well, how are we gonna show him that <laughs> What he did, we appreciate it. I got two precepts for you. You got it. It's Judges 5 and 11. Mm -hmm. It says, They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants in his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. And this is what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be rehearsing the righteous acts. And what are the righteous acts? The law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord left behind for us to practice, man, all right, to live by. This is 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. It says, Wherefore the raven bro rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Right. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fail. So the scriptures say that we have to give diligence in order to make our yeah, calling yeah, and election That's sure. One. So how are you going to give diligence? What is this guy talking about? Is Edomite talking about that? All we got to do is just wait on the Lord. Right. The scriptures say we have to give our diligence to make our calling and election sure. Because our election is not promised. Mm -hmm. We're not, we not promised salvation. Right. We got to work for salvation. And that comes through doing our due diligence, rehearsing the righteous acts, according to the standard that the Lord left behind. Uh, hey, now read Judges 5 and 11 one more time. I got a precept to go with that. All right. This is Judges chapter 5 and 11. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Hey, it said the places of drawing waters. What does that mean? That means you, you slaves, you servants, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? This is Joshua 9 and 23. Now, therefore, ye are cursed, and there shall none of you be freed from being born men and hewers of wood and drawers of water for the house of my power. So, what we we under the curses, right? We under the curses. So we are what? Hewers of wood and drawers of water, man. So in the places of drawing waters, shall we rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, man? Let me get this. And I'll grab this real quick. You want me to grab this now? No, nah, hold on. Hold that. This is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 4. Because this is what Christianity love to read in the church, man. It reads, For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. Right? A whole Luke 20 and 25. Now I say, For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. That's what they love to read. They don't read verse 5. Verse 5 reads, For it is sanctified, by the word of God and prayer. What does sanctified mean? It means set apart. Mm -hmm. Right? It means already set apart, man. Now read that. This is Luke 20 and verse 25. It says... Salaki, so like Leviticus 20 and 25. Leviticus 20 so like 25. It. it reads... Now remember, it was already set apart by the word of power and prayer. Go ahead. Ye shall therefore put, dif put difference between clean beasts and unclean. Right? And between unclean fowls and clean. Right. And ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by fowl or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground. Right. Which I have separated from you as unclean. What sanctified mean right here mm -hmm. in First Timothy mm -hmm. 4 and 5 mean what? Sanctified means set apart, man. Right? Now this is verse 6. Because verse 6 in First Timothy 4 say the same thing is say in Matthew 5 and the Lord say, Any man that teach a man not to keep the law. He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. It said the same thing here. This is 1 Timothy 4 and 6. If thou put thy brethren in remembrance of these things, and what things? That the animals was already sanctified, man. Mm -hmm. If thou put thy brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. You see? Now you can get that up. This is our uh, Romans. Chapter 3. Start at 30. And verse 30. It reads, Seeing it is one power, we shall justify the circumcision by faith. Right. And uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Right. Because of faith? Do we then make void the law? You got it. The most high forbid. Meaning no, man. Yea, we establish the law. Right. That's plain, man. 
This Romans 6 and 1. Now that's said about faith, right? Because we got faith. Do we then avoid the law? This Romans 6 and 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? We got grace, right? The Lord gave us grace. People use grace. They don't understand what it is, man. You got a grace period to repent before the kingdom of heaven comes, man. Or you're going to be destroyed on this side. That's what the grace is, man. We go into it all the time using the simple analogy of paying a light bill, man. If you can't pay the whole bill, they give you a grace period. Well, it's the same way with your house by Shema Shah, man. You got a grace period to repent or you're going to lose your life grievously, man. This Romans 6 and 1. Now, we did, We heard about faith, right? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tell you, the scripture tell you, when you repent, your old man died with your shot, man. Right? Your old spirit died with the Messiah. Now you got on the new, man. This is verse 14. Romans 6 and 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. Again, we're under grace, right? What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Know ye not mm -hmm. that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of, let's say, or of obedience unto righteousness, mm -hmm. man. Come on, man. What is these people be talking about, man? They don't know. They don't, they don't read, man. Yeah, if I can say this, if you, you love it. your father, you want to be just like your father as as much as you can be. Right. Like your daddy, if you grew up with your father and he was a construction worker, you might have little construction tools. It ain't the same, but it's similar. And you're trying. Right. You ain't as good as he is at anything, but you're trying. This is what the grace period is for, for us to learn how our father wants us to operate, man. And when we lean to the left or lean to the right and make a, a mistake, how it shows our training wheels. Right. His sacrifice keeps you still on the journey. That's why it says he that endured to the end. We're not going to be perfect in the law, but it don't mean that we throw the baby away with the bathwater. Right, man. You know? This is our 2 Corinthians 10 and verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Because it tells you in Ephesians that you put off the old man and you put on the new. A new conversation, right? Which is what I would say our conversation is of the kingdom, man. We have a heavenly conversation, right? For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through power to the pulling out of strongholds, casting down imaginations, which he kept ran last night, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of power. This is the point. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of a Mashiach, right? It say, verse 6, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience. And that's what I was doing. We were doing those three topics. I'm defending the gospel. He talking, he ranting, man. You ain't giving me no precepts. No, you read no scriptures, man. He told me, then he gonna do this. He said, uh, you're giving me so much. I can't, I can't receive it right now. Mm, bro, I, it all. I went to laughing like, bro, what are you talking about? Tell me, he, he can't get it all. It's so much. I said, bro, exactly. You can't just pick and choose what you want, man. This is the unfiltered truth, man. It said again, and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled, man. You got to repent. You got to repent, man. Let me get this. This is um, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. It said, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. We're talking about two-thirds of Israel. Mm -hmm. So we know the heathens are lost. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of a Mashiach, who is the image of power, should shine unto them. Mm -hmm. It says, For we preach not ourselves, but a Mashiach Yahweh Shah the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Yahweh Shah's sake. It says, For power who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of power in the face of of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. This is uh, being put under the obedience, man. The captive of obedience, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, if I get, get this real quick, this is the definition of obedience of the etymology online. It reads, the practice or virtue of submission to a higher power or authority. It's mm. a practice. That's rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. 
Read that again. Mm -hmm. It says the practice or virtue of submission to a higher power mm -hmm. or authority. It says dutiful compliance with a command or law. And what does it say in Luke? Man. This is our duty to do, This right? is our Luke 17 and 10. This is Luke 17 and 10. It says, Beautiful. so likewise ye, when ye have done all these things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants. We have done that which is our duty to do. Mm -hmm. And what the brothers is going Man. into right now oh. is these keeping these laws is our duty. Mm -hmm. This is our purpose as Israelite men, women, and children to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments that the Lord gave us. What did King Solomon say at the end of his journey? Mm -hmm. He said the conclusion of the whole matter is to right. fear the Heavenly Father and to keep his commandments. That's the whole duty of man. Con, con, and this uh, is our duty. This is which our duty to do. Beautiful. Hey, so dealing with that, man. Hey, it's plain, man. But it's only to the ones that have understanding, man. I got you one got real it. quick. This is Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 1. And you hath he quickened mm. who were dead in trespasses and sins. That's beautiful. Where in time past ye walk according to the course of this world. Man, that's beautiful. According oh. to the prince of the power of the air. Mm. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Right. Among whom also we all had our conversation in time past yep. in the lust of our flesh. Because the brother's bringing out That's cold. how you can't just love the Lord in word, man. Right, right. It's like, you can't say that you love the Lord and all it is is words. Now you saying you don't have to keep the law. You don't have to show no effort towards the name of the Lord, man. That's beautiful, man. And we walked in the same ignorance. And that's why our brothers are fervent to edify because we want to see... We want to get out of here, man. Right. Like We don't want to be in this condition no more. And in order for that to happen, the elect, the ones, the spirits that are still out there, they may look like anybody. Done. That's why we have to right. be, our, our speech has to be seasoned because you never know who you're dealing with. But it's all the working of the edifying of the elect, the ones who understand it now and the ones who will understand it in this 11th and 12th hour that we're coming into. Done. So I'm going to read that one more time, Ephesians 2 and 2. Yeah, that's cold. Where in time past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit mm -hmm. that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past, mm. in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh right. and of the mind, and were by nature the children of of wrath right even as others but the most high who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us even when we were dead in sins hath quickened us together with a mashiach by grace ye are saved mm. and the brother went into because we have grace should we let it up you know do we sin so that grace may abound no right the grace that has covered us is for us to Remember who we are and rehearse the righteous acts to become better right, right. through the spirit and offend less. And that tells you that in uh, Sirach, the 17th chapter, to offend less, to grow thereby. What do the apostles mean when they say grow thereby? It's not just memorizing and knowing. It's, it's about application. Right. You're supposed to be an example. Even the, the, the new believers, you're supposed to be an example to the unbelievers right. and its levels. But we're supposed to show forth the, the light. How's that light seen by you and your example? Beautiful, man. Look at That's beautiful. This is James chapter 2 and verse 17. Even so faith, if it have not works, is dead, mm -hmm. being alone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man may say thou hast faith, and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works. Right. And I will shew thee my faith by my works. This guy said we don't got to do nothing, man. All we got to do is just sit back and wait, man. You shouldn't even feel right. Come on, man. You right. shouldn't even feel right. If you, the Lord, right. here it is, the Lord done saved you from that, that wickedness you was going into. And now you feel like you can just do the same thing, but now you just got the Lord in your back pocket. Like, right. it don't work like that, man. Because the whole point of a grace period is for you to get your affairs in order. It's not for you to just stack right. up on that mm -hmm. bill. Set that in the house in order. Mm -hmm. Right. right. You're, supposed to, you're supposed to get the money in order to, in order to pay that bill, not just keep on stacking that bill. Right, right. right. And that's just adding to it, man. You just adding to the you, burden. You man. keep trying to put off, they gonna shut your lights off, man. I they gonna keep giving you no too. extension, man. Real quick, this uh. is um Galatians five and thirteen. For oh, brethren, yeah. yep. ye have been called unto liberty. Right. Only use not liberty 
for an occasion to the flesh. Right. But by love serve one another, man. Mm. It's man. plain, man. That's plain. Which goes into the second Ezra 9, man. Right? They have abused his ways. Yep, I got it right here. Bring it up. It's second Ezra chapter 9. In verse 9, it says, Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which have now abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. And what is one of the chief benefits that we've received? This grace period. This grace period. Come on. It says, oh, bro, if I can beautiful. say this, bro, we were through, man. Yeah. We were through. Finish. This is a reasonable service to, to strive to be like your father, man. Right. You know, you got these so-called Christians who say they the, they the children of God. And they don't want to be like their father at all. They just want to continue doing whatever he told you not to do. And, and while we have liberty, you ain't forced to eat slop, pig slop. You ain't forced to eat chitlins. You ain't right. forced to dive into that kind of water. You choose to now. Right. And then you go to church on Sunday and get absolved of all of that wickedness. <laughs> because the pastor told you the law is nailed to the cross, man. Right. Right. They love to bring that out. <laughs> yeah, I was shot die so you could have ham sandwiches and shrimp dinners. That's wicked, man. It's, it's yeah, just man. wicked. It's not right, man. And that's why they say now Isaiah 65, a broth of abominable nations is yeah, in their man. vessels, man. Yeah. It's unnecessary evil, bro. <laughs> like things you can easily avoid. And Jake make every excuse to go the opposite way, man. You got it, brother. Uh, this is uh, second address nine and verse. 10 it says for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty while you yet had liberty you got it and when play and and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them understood not but despised well, it dis bro they despise it bro it's not enough that they could be like well that's just no they questioned it Right. They they scoff at it more than they yep. they don't even go to the grocery yep. store and look at the back of their food that they buy. They don't scoff at that as much as they do at what the Lord has commanded us to do. Right. These right. are and, and we show the Lord done made it so easy. Well, now you can see scientific scientifically, as they say, why the Lord told us not to eat pig. Why the simple laws. Right, man. Simple things that we can avoid, and our people make every excuse to despise the laws of the Lord, man. Right. This is uh, Romans crazy. 8 and 3. It reads, For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, mm -hmm. it said, Power sent to him his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh, for the sin condemned sin in the flesh, mm -hmm. that the righteousness of law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Mm -hmm. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit. Hey, if you say you serve the Lord, how, how are you serving the Lord? Exactly. How that was you, my point, how bro. How are you a servant of the Lord? How? Like what? And that's why James said that. Show me your faith without your works. Right. You can't. You can't. You have no receipt for your faith. Man. We're not justified by the works. And this isn't to say that we are. But the least you can do is sincerely try. If you, if you say you love the Lord, even if you say you're a servant of the Lord, the least you can do. It's your reasonable service. Right. It say, it say, uh, for to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, because the carnal mind is enmity against power, for it is not subject to the law of power, neither indeed can be. Hey, you got it. You got it. that? No, I was gonna it. say. It said the carnal mind. You can't deal. You, you ain't trying to follow the law. Mm -hmm. That's cold. You got it. Hey, the, the brother brought out the etymology of obedience, and it says submission. Right to a higher power. How are you submitting Man. yourself to a higher power if you don't believe that the laws are still in effect? Yeah. How how does that work? Right. That's that's you telling us that you can show us your faith without your works. That's basically it. Man, bro. <laughs> Verse eight say, so then they that are in the flesh cannot please you. How about Shem Hey, if I may say this, that's really almost like a form of idolatry. It is. You submit into your own mindset. Yeah. Right. What you believe. To right. Be, you know? Righteousness according to your definition. Man. And it's like we not righteous according to the flesh. We not right. But with the liberty we have, what 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 should we do with the liberty that the Lord has given us? We still here. All right. We know that the Lord is gonna save the elect. What are you doing to get in that position to be a part of the elect? 
How are you showing that you believe that the right. Lord live it and that his word is right compared to everything else around us? Hey, that's why that's why we say plantation Christianity is a hell of a drug, man. Mm -hmm. Because these people really believe they don't have to do nothing, man. Yep. I got license, Jesus, man. I'm good. It gives you license to do evil and still feel like you're righteous. Crazy, man. That's wicked, man. That's that wicked. Is wicked. And that's why the Lord got a special judgment for all of these so-called pastors out here who right. really make our people feel good about just being wicked. We through here, man. And that goes back. Hey, get, you do with that? Yeah. Get Proverbs 3 and 5. And I got one real quick. Uh, 1 Peter 2 and 16 As You know what? Let me start up. 2 and 15 reads, For so is the will of Yahweh Shem al Shai, that with well-doing... You may put to silence the ignorance right. of, of foolish, foolish men. men. It's a well doing, man. What does that consist of, man? You got to walk in the spirit, man. Mm. And what does the spirit consist of, man? Rehearsing the righteous acts of Yahweh by Shema Bashai, man. And his laws are not grievous, man. We are not. Man. These things ain't. These things ain't algebra. It ain't calculus. Right. right. It ain't rocket science. Right, right. What well, they say, uh, uh, Chinese arithmetic. Yeah, this ain't that. <laughs> the Lord's laws are not grievous. They actually bring life to your situation, even in a lower state. Right. That's why through the spirit we have more joy than the the people of this world. Yep. Because uh, we get, uh. we are, we are privy to the knowledge of the heavenly Father, and we see how His laws benefit our life personally. For real. Man. Hey, if I get this precept back mm -hmm. up. This is Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, right. but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Right. And through these things that the brothers are speaking about, through the application of this word, through meditating on this word, we begin to see the, the success and prosperity the Lord has for us by keeping his commandments, man. Right. You know, by, by keeping his laws to the best of our ability. So it's back in Romans 8 and 9 and say Let me uh, let me just finish oh, this come, real come quick Peter, yeah, Verse 16 come. Ask free and not using your liberty For a, a cloak, cloak of maliciousness come. But as the servants of your How about you shot Right man And the servant mean what you, Hey you gotta apply action man <laughs> Action man so, hey, hey, uh, <laughs> um, What well, Bruce Wayne When Alfred was in the uh, in the mansion Alfred couldn't just do whatever he wanted to do. He right. had to tend to his master. Right, right. He said, what will you have today, Master Wayne? Right. He had to, we are servants to our father, right. man. He had to put out action, man. We had to, We are servants to our father. How our father want us to conduct ourselves is commanded. It ain't an option. Right. You can't just say, I love the Lord, but I'm a, I'm still going to eat pork. <laughs> Sweat uh, and I mean, tears. You know? Sweat and tears, baby. Come on, man. That's awful. This is Romans 8 and 9. It say, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of power dwelleth in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Hamashiach, he is none of his. And if Hamashiach be in you, you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Read that Proverbs 3 and 5. It's Proverbs 3 and 5. It reads... Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Right. And lean not unto thine own understanding. And that's what Christianity is, man. That's them leading to their own understanding. And it said Mark 7, right? It said they, they follow the tradition of men. See, this is the tradition of the Roman Catholic Church, man. Dogma, man. That was a point. I wanted to make y'all any other points. Let's sit on that one. All right, let's get that Psalms 81 and 3. Got it. Please ask us 43. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then get whole Isaiah 66 and 23. Just to make the point, because it did mean him dealt with the new moon. He said the Sabbath was Saturday, and I told him no. The Saturday, the Sat the Sabbath right now is a what? Uh Tuesday to Wednesday sundown. Uh-huh. And then the new moon coming up. And that's right. Thursday. Thursday sundown to Friday. Yep. I told him it's according to the is the Sabbath is according to the new moon, man. Bro, and this it's a punishment that our real life is part time. Like, the, we got to serve Esau for the majority of what we doing. And without, without the little bit of leisure time we have, we get to serve the Lord, man. Right. Our whole life was the scriptures at one point. You look forward to the new moon. That was your break. That was like. Right, come. Now we got to maneuver through this this world, which is completely opposite to our heritage, man. That's a punishment, man. Come. But knowing these things, why would you still want to live like the world do when the Lord when you believe the Lord saved you from it. The tradition of men. 
Amen. The rudiments of the world, like I said, second, and um, Colossians two and eight, because he said the seventh is on Saturday, because you know we're supposed to be off. But what about the ones that working at IHOP and Dennis? Mm -hmm. That work twenty four hours. Mm -hmm. They ain't off on Saturday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ones that gotta work. What about the ones that working at the university? Because everybody out there partying in downtown uh, Orlando, they, they at work. They gotta work these bars and working at these different restaurants and places. Hey, that that Man. goes in, that goes into rehearsing the right, and that's right. That's why we not we not justified them. by our works. Right. But when you have the liberty and the ability to do what is required, then you do that. Right. Man, that's right. And I was trying to explain to him. Man, anyway, you go ahead. You got it out. You go ahead. You read what you got. Um, you got. I got Isaiah 66. Yeah, yeah, read that real quick. That one. Right. Now, Isaiah 66. It's Isaiah 66 and verse 23. Yeah. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. Hey, and when you repent and turn back to Yahweh Shema Bashah, this is what we're doing, man. It say all flesh. Just like in Leviticus 23, when it say everybody that come to this knowledge, you got to do a fast for 24 hours, man. Mm -hmm. You got to get rid of those demons. You have to do it, everybody, man. And if you ain't doing it, like I said in Leviticus 23, you're going to be cut off, man. You got it. You read that one. So, so I got Psalms 81 and 3, and it reads, Blow the trumpet in the new moon. Right. In the time appointed on our solemn feast day, for this was a statute for Israel and a law of, and a law of the power of Jacob. Right, man. Uh, a statue forever, man. Yeah, we ain't had no calendars in the wilderness. Right. We wasn't moving around. When the Lord uh, stoned that man for picking up sticks, did he have a calendar at the crib? Nope. You know, the, did he have to check his alarm at his phone? It's like, <laughs> yeah, right. you know, did he had a, the, uh, no, he, he had, they, they looked at the moon and they looked at the phases of the moon and they, our life was based on the phases. We were, we were one in sync with the, with, with life around us. The right. Lord said he appointed the moon. For its seasons to declare to us what time it is. God. Mm -hmm. And this guy, he go to my, I can't see the moon. Where is that? He being funny. All right. Okay. Hey, hey that man that, that got uh, killed for picking up sticks wouldn't laugh at that joke. That right. joke wasn't funny to him. Right. For real. The Lord was dead serious about these things. And we have grace. But what do you use your grace for, man? You know? We ain't had no calendars in the ancient world. In the ancient world, it was the moon. Right. Real quick, I got this uh, John Gill's exposition of the Bible. I'm going to just read this real quick. Okay. It says, either in every new moon or first day of the month, showing you the new moon is the first day of the month, which was religiously observed by the Jews, mm. or rather the new moon or first day of the seventh month, the month of Tishri, which day was a memorial of blowing of trumpets. Mm, we just read that. Come on, beautiful. Wow. Yeah, man. Plain, man. It's plain, man, but it's only to them that have understanding, that, that the Lord have imparted understanding, man. You got the... Uh, the 43? Yep. So this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 43 and verse 5. Great is the... You know what? Let me start up at, at four. 4. A man a man blowing a furnace is in works of heat, but the sun burneth the mountains three times more, mm. breathing out fiery vapors. And sending forth bright beams. It's talking about the, it's talking about Yahweh Shema Shah the power. You got it. It dimmeth the eyes. Mm. That go that's going into how how powerful the creation of the sun is. Right. Showing you the man, the Lord, the Lord is tough, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. Yeah. You talk about all power and intelligence, bro. Like the world can't Esau can't even figure out the sun. They just right. forgot about it. Right. They can't even map out the whole ocean. They just forgot about trying to do that. They still trying, but they know. We'll never get to the bottom of the ocean, man. We'll never be able to clock the Lord's creation, man. The Lord got their minds on getting getting these uh, missiles together, man. Oh, why they got the metaverse now? <laughs> the man, the man can't find out the, the universe, so he's gonna try to create a right, digital one. Right, that's crazy. Verse uh, six: called. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of feast. A light that decreaseth in her perfection. The month is called after her name. Right. Increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, 
shining in the firmament of heaven. And it just told you the word month comes from moon, man. You can go look it up. You can go to entomology, entomology online. It's going to show you that the word month comes from moon, man. These things are plain, man. That's why we say, call out your heart by Shema Bashar for this understanding, man. For this wisdom, man. Because we can still be bugged out out here, man. But yeah, that was if y'all got anything else. You got any more pre? I got one more. Come on, bring it up. It's a little long one. It's all good. Go ahead. Go ahead. First Edges chapter 5, and verse, I'm starting verse 47. But when the seventh month was at hand, and when the children of Israel were every man in his own place, they came all together with one consent into the open place of the first gate, which is toward the east. Then stood up Yehoshai, the son of Josedek, and his brethren, the priests, and Zerubbabel, and the son of Salath, Salathiel, and his brethren, and made ready the altar of the God of the God of Israel, to offer burnt sacrifices upon it, according to it, according as it is expressly commanded in the book of Moses, mm. the man of God. Mm. And they were gathered unto them out of the out of the other nations of the land and they erected the altar upon his own place because all the nations of the land were at enmity with them and oppressed them and they offered sacrifices according to the time and burnt offerings to the Lord both morning and evening and they held a feast of tab held the feast of tabernacles as it was commanded in the law and offered sacrifices daily as it was meet and after that the continual oblations and the sacrifice of the Sabbaths and of the new moons mm -hmm. and of all the holy feasts. Beautiful. And there it is, man. Yep. These things more? have to be rehearsed, man. We have to we supposed to be rehearsing these things, man. And if anybody telling you think anything different, they going off, man. Yep. They the, going off, man. The law is not done away with. Right. And we we didn't have a Friday and Saturday in the ancient world. That's that's simple. Now the scriptures say you don't judge a man on a new moons and sabbaths. But for truth's sake, these things have to be brought out and right, presented. Right, right. Because the flock need to know. And that's talking about a person that's just coming in, a, 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 a little wet feet, man. A person that got wet feet still, man, that's coming in. You don't pressure them on meats and Sabbath and holidays, man. Let them grow first. Right, you got to let them grow, right. But ultimately, the scriptures say in John 7 and 38, He that believeth on me as, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water, water, man. So you got to go to, according to what the scriptures say. And the scriptures say that the, the, the Sabbath is according to the new moon. Right. It's simply, you know. Right. Hey, so with that, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah. And a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Akwath who are believing this word, in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Wa Aba Bubal. The water for tuning in. May you have by Shemal Shah continue blessing your houses. Stay prayed up. The water for your precepts. Shalom.